In this lecture, we'll discuss uh, using computers in sterile processing. So there is a great need for computers in many uh, different types of businesses, and sterile processing is no exclusion. The value of computers, if you've never used one, you may not quite get it, but hey, you're using a computer right now, so don't lie to me. Um, the value of computers is that they can process information uh, better than humans. You're, they are um, thinking machines. They're very limited in what they can do. They can't do, uh, they can't do all of the difficult types of thought that humans can do, but they can do some uh, data. So, using computers and sterile processing. First and foremost, sterile processing is a clean environment and you're going to want to make sure that your computer is clean when you bring it in. This includes your little pocket device. Should be disinfected, but we're not really talking about pocket devices. Um, we are talking about using computers for tracking supplies and instruments. As a sterile processing tech, you're probably going to be more focused on tracking instruments. Uh, tracking supplies is more of a materials management task. However, you could end up in a hospital where you're going to be tracking supplies. And so with that in mind, let's jump into this. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. So the value of a computer in CS is that you can assure that you can locate items quickly. Um, if you've ever worked in CS, you know how frustrating it can be when you can't find something. You can use computers to determine when uh, consumable supplies should be replaced, to monitor the usage of particular items, to maintain accurate records of processes such as sterilization and distribution, to assist with quality assurance processes and regulatory compliance, and to capture information for a financial analysis. There are computers in use all over the world and in every hospital. There may be not a computer in your central service department where you currently are or where you're going to go to, but it's coming, trust me. Most departments do use some form of automated information management system to track products and to document processes. Um, even if you only have a computer for looking at count sheets, or for storing your count sheets, and you can pull up uh, a Word document perhaps or an Excel spreadsheet and then print that out. Or you may be using a computer <clears throat> which is capable of tracking uh, every single instrument and knowing where it is at every point um, in its journeys through the system. Information technology is a cornerstone of initiatives to transform healthcare. Um, it just makes things run more smoothly. Patient records are now uh, input into and then accessed through computer terminals. Um, we even have the ability to interface a um, the ADT system which is the admiss admissions discharge and transfer system into our instrument tracking system <clears throat> and we will know who is scheduled for what surgery and we can interface with the operating rooms uh, surgery scheduling system and with their um, preference card system and we will know which instruments and instrument sets that we need for the scheduled cases. Okay, um, so <clears throat> everything we do in the hospital is patient-centered. So the core mission of everything we do um, is about safety and quality patient care. Information can be, systems can be used to ensure these objectives are accomplished.